Hello, welcome to HITC Sport. I'm Michael, this is James, and here's the FA Cup preview between Spurs and Villa. All right, Spurs against Aston Villa. How do you think this one is going to go, James? It's a, well, it's not really tough at all, is it, to be honest? Uh, it's actually going to be a routine win for Tottenham. You'd think so. I mean, Dele Alli's on serious form. He's six goals in his last three games. Do you think either team will want a cup run here? Well, yes, to be honest, because at, at the end of it, you'll be able to hoist the cup a lot. Yeah, but I mean, Tottenham would like to think after beating Chelsea, they could potentially get back into the title race. Do you think that the cup is a bit of a distraction for the likes of teams pushing for the top four? Yeah, the top four is worth more than the FA Cup, unfortunately. Yeah, well, in terms of money, maybe. Yeah, well, that's money makes the world go around, Mike. Like, I think Spurs, uh, I think they have the squad to cope with a with an FA Cup challenge. Yeah, yeah, that's well. I mean, they've you know the likes of Sissoko very good set up in the Premier League, and I think they can go far this time. They're one of the top teams in England. Um, of course, the FA Cup doesn't always work like that. Upsets are a thing. You'd imagine that the Premier League is probably going to be a little bit of a bridge too far for them. The FA Cup would be an end of what could be another good season for Tottenham. Just moving slightly out to Aston Villa, Steve Bruce has uh, you know, he's improved their fortunes a bit, right? Do you think their uh, recent success has been tainted by the fact that he used to manage Birmingham City? No, I don't think anyone cares. And, yeah. See, I, I think the FA Cup is a little bit of a distraction for Aston Villa. I'm sure Steve Bruce would much rather focus on trying to Get the playoffs. Do you think they can take something, well, not take something, do you think they can progress <laughs> away that way? No, I'm not too much quality. Like yeah. you see, they've got the squad to cope with it. Speaking of that, man, I didn't actually think he was having the, his best of seasons up until about a month ago. Oh, it was when he was diving against Swansea, teams like that, and I was like, ah, oh, come on, he's, he's just another overrated and overhyped youngster, but I think he scored 20 Premier League goals now and it's taken him quicker to get to that than like, Frank Lampard and Gerrard. Yeah, so. yeah. I'd, I'd say Dele Alli's maybe the best player in the Premier League right now, on pace on form. And he likes he likes a good wave. Yeah, he doesn't do any of this dab and shit, it's just a little... That's a little weird. Yeah, yeah I'll go 3-0 Tottenham. Oh, oh, okay. Easy to the fourth. Wow, alright. Aston Villa don't even have a prayer in this one then. Nope. Jesus. Um, okay, I'll go for... I think yeah, Steve Bruce, I think he'll rally his troops, put up a bit of a challenge, I say. 2-1! <laughs> what a challenge. It's a Spurs, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching, I've been James, this has been Michael. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. They're going to put out a bit of a weak inside. Harry Winks will play. Is it a weak inside or they just have different options? Hmm? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs>